I'm Ash. Welcome back to my channel. Before you watch this video, I recommend that you watch it either with headphones or with really high quality speakers, as long as it's not on your phone, because today we're gonna be talking about big, thick, Now this kind of thick rumbly bass is essential for dubstep, trap, future bass, even some house music. And I'll be going over three different ways that you can do it. Using samples, using Ableton stock plugins, and with my baby serum. Not sponsored, not sponsored. You ready to make your song sound huge? Let's get into it. Let's say we have our drum loop. And we want to thicken it up with some sub bass. The first way I'm going to show you is with samples. Step one, before we even put a synth down, is we got to talk music theory. Now, wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't click away, please. No, we're just going to be talking about the notes. No key signatures, no time signatures, no cadences. And why are we doing this? Because certain notes just sound better when they're sub bass. I call these tasty keys. And I'll show you over here. It starts on E. And it goes all the way. G. It's a very small section, but these specific notes, they're audible, so you can hear them, but they're also, they keep that rumble that sub bass have. Now you can get away with using other notes, but these fall into the awkward zone where it's silent when it's an octave down, but it loses its rumble when it goes up high versus, mmm, tasty, 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 yeah. First started making music. I would show my music to other producers, especially Paul from Namine. He would always give me shit about not putting a sub bass in my song, and I'm like, bro, I put a sub bass in my song. And he's like, bro, no, you didn't. You can't even hear it. And it turns out I was writing all my songs with the bass note being B. So we couldn't even hear it. Please, I'm filming. But once you have that figured out, we're gonna go and we're gonna find our sample. If you have a sample pack with 808s in it, especially ones that are marked with the key, you can make sure to pick some good ones. You just drag and drop it. So for this instance, let's get some E's in there. Make sure you turn warp off so you get maximum bass. Easy. That's it. If you want something quick, this is the way to go, especially with 808s. Some samples are already processed, so they've got really nice tones and really nice distortions on them, just like this one here. Uh, the only trouble I find is if you want to start changing notes or you want to change the timing, you're locked into that sample or else you risk losing all of that bass and rumbliness, which is what the sub bass needs. If you want a bit more control, you want something smooth, a little bit more bassy, then we go to level two where we use stock plugins. So first step we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're in the right key as well. So let's do E. And for this one, we'll be using the stock plugin wavetable. I'm using this because it's really similar to Serum. That's why I chose it. So in here, we're gonna turn on our sub oscillator. I'm gonna set the gain to minus six. That should be the default. Make sure volume's at zero, an octave to zero. This makes sure that the sound comes out loud, but that it's not clipping. If you look here on this little meter, you'll see that we're not clipping, but we keep it as loud as possible. So that once we start adding effects to it, we avoid that distortion. Next, we adjust our amp envelope, attack around here, and then we turn our sustain down, maybe about three dB. It's really subtle, but it gives you that 808 slap. Next, we throw on OTT for that thickness, and then we're adjusting output here so that the meter just hits the peak. As you can hear, that's a very smooth sounding sub and it's very thick as well. As long as you keep this volume nice and under control, it'll mix really nice with your drums. Now, if you want the best, in my personal opinion, sub, we're gonna go ahead and use Serum. So once again, we make sure we're in the right key, put these down to E. So we're turning off all the oscillators and turning on the sub, setting it to sine wave, octave at zero. And then we're also making sure that our volume is set to default. We're gonna do the same thing and make sure that we're managing our volume levels like that. Before we do anything, we're gonna slap on OTT, just so we can hear the changes that I'm gonna start making to it. So here's where Serum gets cool. Open up effects, and then open distortion. Make sure it's on tube, and then slowly start turning drive up until we start hearing the harmonics. Crunchy. So we can adjust dry wet or the mix to adjust the level of crunchiness. Wanna find a nice balance between the harmonics and the rumble. Lastly, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the noise oscillator here. I'm gonna set it to AC hum number two. 
and then set level at 1%. What does this do? This gives it a fake distortion effect. So you get that 808 buzz without actually adding any more distortion. So we keep that rumble going. Fed in with the drums. So that's it for the video. Producer Billy is. Yep. Excuse me. Look, he put stock plugins in the title. Is using Serum, which clearly is not a stock plugin. Yep. Th this is a violation. Violation of Reddit Act 69420, which definitely states no videos are allowed to be made saying stock plugins, but using Serum. Okay. Yeah, I get it, officer. But if you look at Serum, it does everything. It can take the place of a lot of other third-party plugins. Mm -hmm. Nope. It can do a lot of stuff faster than stock plugins. Nope, I've had enough. You are under arrest. No, 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 wait, 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 hang on. What if I could show you how to make the serum level sub using stock plugins? That's not enough. I'll also show you some cool 808 tips at the end of the video. Okay, I'm listening. So let's say you don't have serum or you want to save your CPU from serum's abuse. Well, let's go back into Wavetable. So with a bunch of tweaks, I was actually able to add that warm tube style distortion onto our stock Ableton sub here. So it turns out Ableton has a plugin called Dynamic Tube. So I put that in. I played around with these knobs and ended up with these settings to get a similar kind of sound with the harmonics and the rumble. And then I also added saturator and erosion to give it that fake distortion effect. And I made sure these go before OTT so that the sounds that I add get pulled out. Now that I'm listening to it, honestly, this one's better than the serum one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add it into a whole song. So let me show you some cool things you can do with this 808 as well. So when you're writing your 808 and your drum pattern, you want to make sure that you're putting an 808 each time your kick drum hits. Make sure you add a side chain to it as well. So you set up a side chain and then set it to your kick and snare so that you're getting that volume control. Another cool thing I like to do is with the notes I pick, I'll do an accent where I octave up the note. That. And also, if you have a bass set up for a drop or something, always make sure you're rolling it off. I'll roll off the low end. And then another cool thing you can do is you can automate the volume on a utility here to get a wobbly sub. I personally didn't use that for this song because I like the longer sounding subs, but this will work if you want something tighter. And that brings us to an end. If you're interested in getting the sounds similar to this song, these are all made from Ashes Certified Bass Banger Sample Pack, which is available to you for free. So go ahead, make some cool dubstep, make some cool bass music. All of the sounds that I used in this song are made from that sample pack. So check it out. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss a video. I've also got Instagram, Twitter. Make sure you follow me on those. Here's the link. But other than that, I hope you can make some cool stuff with this. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. We'll see you next time.